Hey there, kids. Welcome back. Were you at ToyCon in Bridgeview, Illinois yesterday? If you were, you saw me and my wife, Lady Pop Hunter, at that convention. And actually, we were recognized at the convention. People recognized us from the YouTube channels, which was kind of nice. Well, I guess we must be doing something right if people spot us and know who we are. So that was a, an interesting surprise. I'm going to show some video footage of the toy con here really quick and then i'll show you what i got and my wife really got carried away at toy con and she got a bunch of stuff she's really into the masters of the universe and she found a few pieces she had been looking for got a good price on it and so please do be looking out for that on her channel coming up soon probably either later on today or possibly tomorrow i think she's planning on doing that so i'm going to show just a few images from the toy con it's not a really really big toy show they've been doing it for 25 years they've got another one coming up in september uh september 17th and that's in bridgeview illinois and when we get closer to that date i'll go ahead and put the address on that and maybe you'll see us there because i think we're planning on going to that one too smaller toy show but good enough so let's go ahead and take a look at some footage from that and then we'll get back to me Hi, how are you? Hey, Lady Pop Hunter. So what are you doing today? I'm at the Toy Con, toy con Show at the Bridgeview Community Center in Illinois. Justice, Illinois? Is that where we are? No, we're in Bridgeview, Illinois. I thought I saw Justice on the police car. It's not it's a, Justice. a little bit of a... No, no, just for you. So how's it going? There. Sorry? How's it going? Uh, I don't know. It's, uh, there's... There's a fair number of tables, there's a lot of stuff. It's mostly newer though, I've noticed that a lot in recent years. And most of what you're seeing at the, sh at the shows at these tables that they're bringing in, it's stuff that's been produced in the last 10 years or so. Uh, I'm seeing very little actual vintage stuff and what I am seeing in vintage, it's mostly loose or not mm -hmm. in very good condition. So that's kind of disappointing. Nothing mm -hmm. Japanese, because mm -hmm. you know I like the, the mecha and the uh, Godzilla stuff also. Nothing Japanese at this show. I haven't seen anything. Well, I saw one piece from uh, Shogun, Mattel Shogun Warriors from like, what, 1976? But it was completely stripped down. It, it was even missing an arm. And it sold. It's gone because it's, it disappeared from the table. So, oh, wow. that's about the gist of it. Well, hopefully I'll find something. Did get recognized. I was kind of surprised. Mm -hmm. So, People here have, or some people here have seen the channel. That's good. Must All be right. doing something right. All right, let's see what else we can find. Yeah. Yeah, 
soon. I sing this a lot. <laughs> What's that? Hello Kitty Marvel crossovers. <laughs> oh. Cosplay. And that's at the Bridgeview Community Center. And they just, you know, they kind of cram it in there, but you do what you can do. There was some local vendors that I recognized. And like I said, there was a couple of people that walked up and said, aren't you that guy from YouTube? Yeah, that's me. And I thought that was really interesting because, like I said, I guess I must be doing something right. So what did I do there? Well, first of all, I got the Hulk. I got a few other things here I was going to show you, but I'll show you what I got. I do like the Diamond Select figures. Like, here is the Incredible Hulk that I picked up, and I'll put up another image of him. I like the oversized Diamond Select. I like when they fill the package the way that the Hulk fills the package here. And I'm going to show you an example of one that I don't like too much. And that is the Black Panther here. And I don't like the Black Panther because he's a smaller figure. So to justify the size of the package, they put a tree in here with him. And I'm like, he comes with a tree. And I get it. You know, you can pretend, oh, he's got a diorama. I don't want to pretend he's got a diorama. I want a figure that fills the package. Well, so I like the, you know, the rhino and Thanos and oversized figures like that. I hate it when they do. The other one is the Spider-Man really caught my eye because he's like a small figure and then they get a whole crushed car in here filling up the whole rest of the package for him to stand on for a diorama like i said to justify the size of the package and to me that's just kind of silly so i like the diamond select when they are just huge in the package like that i get a kick out of that now i'll show you what else i got here and i paid about 25 bucks for it you know so just short of retail but I have the satisfaction of knowing that it's in decent condition. Now, Sideshow 1 6 scale Terminator 2 Sarah Connor. And there she is, and I'll show some close ups of her as well. I went ahead and got her because I also have, I got them up here actually, I've got the T800 that goes with this set. And the prices are coming down, I'll tell you right now, one of the best deals of the day. Because I paid 25 bucks for her. 25 bucks. What did she cost new? And currently she's selling for about, I want to say around 60. You know, aftermarket, if you went to eBay right now, she's about 60 bucks. So, and that's something to consider, you Hot Toys collectors. The reason that these all came down so much, even though they were so expensive to begin with, is because the Hot Toys came out with a better version. And so everybody sold these, bought the Hot Toys versions, right? So what's going to happen when another company comes out with even better ones to the value of the Hot Toys? Just saying, watch out for those trends. Also, I found these, which I'll explain who and what they are here in a second if you're not familiar. This was a great deal. There was a bin. They were five bucks a piece. Nobody knows what these are. I know what they are. These are from Ultraman, and these are Japanese imports. And they're not the original ones, although this one might be. Now, if you can find these from the 60s or 70s, you found a gold mine. They're, like I said, five bucks a piece, and I've got a handful of them here. Let's see if I can just dig around without making a huge mess because I'm, I'm kind of crammed in here. You know, obviously, this is an Ultraman figure. And this is a reproduction. And when they remake these, usually they'll put two dates on the bottom. The original date and the new date. And this is from 2000. There I go. Butterfingers again, right? And 
Then this one, which is Red King. I know he's not red, but it's Red King, trust me. And Agira? Agira, I think. And then, who is this? Sofubi, I want to say. And they're crappy articulation. You know, he barely turns a little bit the waist and his arms go up. But even the reproductions, 15 to 20 a piece. So, five bucks a piece was a great deal. And it does not matter that they are loose because they're sold in cello bags. And this one is Mark 1983. So he's either a really early reproduction or an original figure. And original of the Japanese monster, goofy monster style stuff. I mean, look at this thing. Can get really ridiculously expensive. You have no idea. Well, man, maybe you do. <laughs> if you're into collecting that kind of stuff, you probably do. Oh, it's Tintin. 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 I used to love reading that when I was a kid. It's a great show. Great show. They, they made a show out of it. A Canadian show that reproduced several of the original cartoon. It's, I'm doing it again. A, Can a Canadian show that reproduced the original books by Hergé from, I think he wrote them in the 40s. Now, thrift stores. I did find this at Goodwill for five bucks, which was a great deal. Probably worth about $20. Still sealed from the Disney store. And I'll put a close-up of that. Also, um, something else at Goodwill. Let me show you this real quick, because this was interesting. That is the original Perfection by Lakeside. And I picked that up for $2. And here, see, I, those are the close-ups, and this is it. And it is fully functional. Fully functional. The box has a little bit of damage, but that's all right. You know, 1975 Lakeside. And all the pieces are there. It works great. box is a little beat up, but that's okay. You know, for $2, it's worth about 30 And, you know, I've noticed, I've sold a few of these to people. And around Christmas time, it'll jack all the way up to 50 But... I've been looking for an original uh, Lakeside Perfection. The difference being that the original one is yellow. And when Lakeside sold their uh, their rights to Milton Bradley, they changed, they reversed the colors. The inner panel became blue and the outer edges became red. But finding those in complete condition is a good deal. For those of you who are looking for these okay they are on clearance at Walmart right now five bucks five bucks a piece brand new condition so if you're looking for the Lego buildable figures now's the time to go run to Walmart and see if they have any left other things that I just wanted to throw out there you know stopped into a Burger King recently saw this photo a picture in Burger King of food they do not sell there. They do not sell it there, folks. I think that's hilarious. And one more, and this comes from Half Price Books. And that is Tim Rose's autograph. Obviously, Tim Rose is the actor, Admiral Akbar. And they've got 125 bucks on this. I challenge you to go to eBay right now and look up Admiral Akbar autographs. And, uh, and you can probably find action figures on there all day long for less than 50 bucks a piece. So I don't know what half price books is trying to pull, but they are seriously overpriced on that figure. It doesn't even have a, a authenticity with it. So I don't know what to make of that at all. Anyway, coming up soon, I ran into the guy, Maz is his name who had the world's greatest toy yard sale. I have a video about it. I'll put a link to it down below. If you haven't seen it, check it out. It's amazing. And he told me he's doing it again. Maz is going to do another one. And it's coming up in August, a weekend in August. And when I have that date square, I talk to him. I will do another video of that new yard sale. I'll film it and I'll put another video up. And I'm going to ask him if it's cool if I tell people where to find it. So if you're in the Illinois area 
you know, or help Wisconsin. I don't know where you are, but if it's accessible to you, it would be worth it to come and check this guy out. He's his yard sales are incredible. And like I said, I'll put a link to the yard sale down below. I'm going to talk to Maz and see if he's interested in, you know, if it'd be cool if I put a contact for him, maybe I can put a link to his Facebook on an upcoming video, something like that. And you can come and check it out. I'll probably be there. Lady Pop Hunter may be there. And maybe you'll run in us. So hope to see you there. Uh, Toy Con again coming up September 17th. We'll be there from 8.30 to 2 in Bridgeview at the Bridgeview Community Center in Illinois. In Illinois. Because we are in Illinois. <laughs> so, oh, also one more thing. Contest. I will be having another contest coming up soon so watch out for it because I will I will be making announcements for the contest probably in the next video and I'll tell you what I'm going to be giving away and how I'm going to be doing it also unrelated just got this Starzinger been looking for this for a long time big fan of original anime you know the the seven, 60s and 70s stuff and this was a big one 1976 Starzinger Really difficult to track these down because a lot of this wasn't redone. So I was happy to get this, and I'll be watching this here shortly. So thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. If you have not already, if you are a subscriber, please remember to hit the notifications button so that you will be alerted as to when new content comes out. And hope to see you all again soon. Link to my wife's channel down below, Lady Pop Hunter. Link to, what else was I putting a link to? Oh, my other video. <laughs> my other video with the world's greatest freaking toy yard sale ever. I'll put that down below. Go ahead and check it out. And stay tuned. I'll be back soon.